Hey everyone, it's Sophie. In today's video, I'll be decorating around Norma's house. If you enjoy this type of content, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I would love to know your thoughts down below. Hit that notification bell if you like to be notified whenever I post another video. So let's get started. As you can see here, I started to place down Har's fencing as I thought it would look great and really tie in the area. It helped bring together my other builds in the past and it made everything look super cohesive. I'll be back in a little bit, but for now, I hope you can sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Ever since the 2.0 update, the storefront has been one of my favorite items. I've been seeing the trend of using two storefronts and a curtain partition as a small shed going around all over social media. 
and I thought that it worked out perfectly right here. It really tied the build together and just looked great right next to Norma's house. absolutely love these small cow umbrellas that I found online. They are so cute and they look great with the wheat fields and harvest fencing. They make a great touch and an adorable addition to this area.
matter how big or how small the area is. One of my favorite things to add is a picnic spot. It can go with any build and it always turns out super cute. I decided to place some of my favorite blanket coats and add a few miscellaneous items and it was perfectly complete. As I near the end of this build, I added two covered counters on both sides of Grandma's dairy truck to frame it in. After that, I added my final touches, a few small plants and trees, and then I was complete.
Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day.